Welcome everybody to this new video about the song of Katy Perry Chained to the Rhythm. This video is obviously about reincarnation and I chose to decode it because of the title Chained to the Rhythm. And if you've watched my last two videos about They Live, you will know that there is a rhythm and a frequency linked to the magnetic field of the Earth. If you haven't watched them yet, I will suggest you to watch them before watching this one, so that you can understand what I'm speaking about. So let's see if we can have more information through this video. So the video starts with people getting inside an entertainment park called Oblivia. So with the letter O, you can see a circle with a hamster inside. So this is a representation of the hamster wheel. And the letter B, you see the double O, and it also represents the 8, that is a symbol of the infinite time loop. Oblivia is a reference to oblivion, and this is linked to the veil of forgetfulness that we are under when we incarnate. We don't know where we come from, we have no memories. So basically they are telling us that we incarnate in a land where we don't remember where we are from, and that we are spinning like hamsters in a wheel. Here we can see Katy Perry entering the park, and we can see the two pillars representing Yakim and Boaz, with the hamster symbol on them, and the hamster is everywhere in this video. She's dressed in white, and this can be a representation of the soul. Here you can see the logo of Oblivia, and we can see those three, whatever this is, and I think that those three symbols can represent the three pillars of Freemasonry and also has to do with Osiris, as you will see on next picture. And we can also see two wheels forming the shape of an eight that represents the infinity symbol and the time loop we are stuck in. Here is a picture of my video about the sleeping satellite, and we can see this symbol related to Osiris, and we can see those three things related to the osmium element. So maybe it represents electricity, magnetism, and dielectricity, and Oz is the operating system, Osiris, and the Wizard of Oz. And Osiris, of course, is related to the birth and rebirth process. Here are the lyrics, and they contain very interesting messages. So it goes like that. Are we crazy, living our lives through a lens, trapped in our white picket fence? So she's telling us that we are trapped. So comfortable, we are living in a bubble, and in the video we see many people in a bubble. So the bubble could be a representation of Earth, between the waters above and the waters below. So comfortable, we cannot see the trouble, and most people cannot see it. Aren't you lonely up there in Utopia? Utopia is in reality a dystopia where nothing will ever be enough. And this is an allusion to people wanting more and more and feeling empty inside and consuming. Happily numb, so comfortable we're living in a bubble. So this reminds me of the song of Pink Floyd, Comfortably Numb. So put your rose-colored glasses on. Rose is a symbolism used in this video and we will see it later. Turn it up, it's your favorite song, dance, dance, dance to the distortion. So she's telling us that there is a distortion, which I think is the hijacking frequency. Turn it up, keep it on repeat. 
This is the cycle of reincarnation. Stumbling around like a wasted zombie. In this world, this is what we are. Yeah, we think we are free. Most people think we are. And they are not aware that we are in a prison planet. Drink these ones on me. We are all chained to the rhythm. And we saw this rhythm in my last decode about they live. Are we toned deaf? There is a sound that we saw in They Live that is a low pitch sound, a humming sound, but apparently we cannot hear it and we are tuned to it. Keep sweeping it under the mat. Mat can also be matter. Thought we could do better than that, I hope we can. It is my desire, break down the walls to connect, inspire, a up in your high place, liars. Time is ticking for the empire, the truth they feed is feeble. It is a reference to this awakening of many people, as so many times before. So she might be referring to other occasions when people woke up before other resets. The greed of all the people, they stumbling and fumbling, and we about to riot. They woke up, they woke up the lions. So again, yes, she's speaking about this waking up, this great awakening. And then she says it goes on and on and on. The reincarnation process, this cycle. Because we are all chained to the rhythm. So here she's saying that the rhythm is what is keeping us trapped. Here again we have this hamster wheel. And hamster wheel is 137 in English ordinal. 137 is the fine structure constant. In Chaldean with 137 we have what is the Schumann resonance used for and the 7.83 Hz frequency of the earth. Hamster wheel is 48 in Chaldean matching the soul trap, god of dreams, simulated reality, we live in hell, and Deus Ex Machina. This wheel says the greatest ride in the universe. The greatest ride of the universe is 322 in Jewish ordinal. And you all know that this is the skull and bones number. And in septenary and keypad we have 144 matching the atomic mass of element neodymium, that means the new twin, that is the Earth. Neodymium is element 60, and 60 appears at the 127th digit of pi, matching the atomic mass of element tellurium that represents the Earth. With 144 in English ordinal, we have Dante's Inferno, and we will see Inferno later. Stuck in time, Samsara's wheel, so we have the wheel again, the matrix game, and the illusion. Here we can see people with tablets that have the hamster on them. And another interesting detail is the three bags of popcorns. So here again we have the symbol of three. Oblivia is 70 in English ordinal. In Chaldean with 70 we have changed to the rhythm. So it is interesting that the name of the song has chosen the same vibration of the name Oblivia. We also have it sends you spinning, spinning through the wheel. The hypnotic spell, the television signal, the earth's resonance, the earth's beat of 54. So we can see that the fact that we are chained to the rhythm is due to the Earth's beat and the Earth's resonance. 70 appears at the 64th digit of the golden ratio, and 64 is element gadolinium that has the symbol of a television, so it makes sense with the television signal. 70 appears at the 96th digit of pi. 
and 96 is element curium that has the symbol of a satellite. So it all has to do with Cable 54 and the movie they live. Oblivia is 21 in Chaldean matching Babylon. The Jack, The Ram, VR Game, Pirate, and Hook. It also matches Saturn. Those words are very interesting. Hook, we are being hooked to this dimension. Hook and the Jack is the same thing. And Babylon seems to be this Earth system. Here we have the wheel and a sign saying the Great American Dream Drop. This expression is 741 in primes, and this number is Lucifer's number according to Manly P. Hall. The Great American Dream Drop is 88 in Chaldean, matching the Earth's 7.83 resonance. And we saw before that this was the Schumann resonance, and it is linked to the Matrix of Deception the architect of the matrix, and holographic projection. 88 matches element radium, linked to Ra. Another important symbol is the five-pointed star that I have spoken about in many videos. This is a pentagram. 88 appears at the eighth digit of the golden ratio, and 8 is the infinity symbol hinting that this goes on forever. On this picture you can see the symbol of the flash of lightning. This symbolism is linked to Lucifer and also to the thunder. And if you watched my last video, They Live Number 2, you will see that it is what is operating the Earth system. Here you can see the two pillars symbol again and the pyramid. And we also have roses. Here you can see that she started bleeding because of the thorn of a rose. And this symbolism is surely meaningful. This reminded me of the curse of Princess Aurora sent by Maleficent in The Sleeping Beauty. Maleficent curses Aurora proclaiming that Aurora will grow in grace and beauty, but before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she will prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. So to me it is the same symbolism, and I'm sure it has something to do. What is interesting is that I just found out that Aurora was renamed Briar Rose. So you see the rose. So the spinning wheel is 188 in English ordinal matching one of the atomic masses of element osmium. So here again we have this element, the operating system. With 188 in English ordinal, we have Intel Processor, Death and Regeneration, which is Reincarnation, Master of Deception, You Can Never Leave, Arcan Mind Parasite, The Blood Currency, and the question, Why do we incarnate? The spinning wheel is 69 in English ordinal, matching element thulium that has to do with the Thule society and the black sun. And in Chaldean we have the following matching expressions. Earth prison planet, predator prey system, the god Cernunos, and frequency emitter. Spinning wheel is 155 in English ordinal matching the soul trap. Reborn again and again. This is reincarnation. Deep hypnosis and reversed copy. 
and 155 appears at the 314th digit of pi, so this is indicating pi itself. Pi is the infinite circle, so this is why we are stuck in pi, in this wheel. Here we can see that the name of Katy Perry in this video is Rose. So once again we have this rose symbolism. And the man is called Simon. It has the word sim in it for simulation. The sim on. Their names, Simon Rose, are 127 in English ordinal, matching the atomic mass of tellurium that represents the Earth. Here we can see those red arrows on the floor, and everybody is following them without questioning. This is describing an automatic mechanism. On this picture you can see a large amount of people waiting in line and following this red arrow surrounding the hamster wheel. On the picture we cannot see it, but they are all making this pendulum movement, swinging from left to right. On the sign it says 1984 hours to wait. 1984 is this book from George Orwell, in which a society under deep mind control is described, 1984 is 220 in English ordinal matching the Schumann resonance. So this is a confirmation that the Schumann resonance has something to do with the reincarnation. We also have the frequency of 7.83 Hz, that is the Schumann resonance, and electromagnetic waves. 1984 is 77 in Chaldean matching 7.83 Hz frequency. So you see, even in Chaldean we have it. We also have the Thunder God Thor, the Black Cube of Saturn, Luge Harvesting Matrix, and the Particle Accelerator. Nineteen eighty four HR for our is 29 in Chaldean matching Yaldabaoth and Dreamland. And the people in line seem to be under a trance. On this picture you can see a machine throwing people violently and then they land on Earth. Here you can see people arriving at the end of the line. They arrive to this wheel machine. And here you can see a man who took his place inside the wheel. And then the wheel starts spinning and it becomes difficult to keep the equilibrium, the balance. Here we can see Katy Perry surrounded by sailors, and this might be an indication that we are under the maritime law. And it says Inferno H2O. And if you remember, before we had Dante's Inferno. Inferno is related to this movie that was based on a novel written by the author of the Da Vinci Code, so here again we have this Da Vinci Code relation. So we have the red and blue symbolism that can represent the two pillars, red shift, blue shift, but I feel it has to do with the plasma apocalypse and the earth being destroyed or by water or by fire. 
and it can be a symbol of anode and cathode. Inferno H2O is 106 in English ordinal matching, they live. And in Chaldean with 106 we had the 54 beats per minute tempo and the Earth's resonance frequency. And those two expressions are very important for this song as it is about the rhythm and everybody being chained to the rhythm. Inferno H2O is 47 in Chaldean, matching Tetragrammaton. Enjoy Fire Water is 174 in English ordinal matching the atomic mass of element lutetium, and Lu stands for Lucifer. The symbol of Lucifer shows this magnet, made to look as a sailing boat on the sea, but this is a sea of frequencies. And we also have the fleur de lis, which has the three petals. So once again we have this symbolism with the three. In English ordinal, with 174, we also have the reincarnation, hypnotic spell, black cube of Saturn, black cube frequency, and the earth beat of 54 BPM. 174 appears at the 155th digit of pi. And remember that with 155 we had spinning wheel. And that's what we see in the background. And the spinning wheel is all over this video. And with 155 we had the soul trap, reborn again and again, deep hypnosis and reversed copy. On this picture you can see this man spitting out some fire through his mouth and we could interpret this as the plasma event, the plasma apocalypse. And the shirt he's wearing has this wave pattern, which is the same pattern that I showed in my video about They Live Part 2. Here you can see again this symbol of the lightning in the movie Bolt, so it's obvious that it is about the bolt of lightning. And you see the same symbolism of the hamster in the wheel, that is also a bubble. And in this song of Katy Perry, she says that we are living in a bubble. And here you have this symbolism in The Good Place. The Good Place is a must watch, I mean it's so full of symbolism. I think I will make a decode about it. There is so much in there. Here is another one from The Good Place. And there are many other ones in my video about They Live Part 2. This slide is also from The Good Place, and this is a video game Jason was asked to play as a test. So you can see the same pattern as the fire water in the Katy Perry video. It has the exact same colors, the blue and the red and the circle. And here again you can see the red and blue symbolism as everybody is putting those red and blue glasses to watch TV. People are going to watch a show called A Nuclear Family Show in 3D. This is a reference to the 3D dimension we live in. 
On this TV they show this wheel. This is a ring. Could it represent the ring I will show you in next slide? Here we can see this man appearing on TV with the ring behind him that now has colors showing the light spectrum. And on the television set we can read UHF, which stands for Ultra High Frequency. Now this man is coming out of the screen and stepping inside our dimension with the colors and here on the right you can see like a ufo some kind of alien technology and we have this woman on the front she's ironing so this is very weird and maybe it has to do with element iron So he first appeared as plasma and now he has materialized in this dimension. And uh, pay attention to this symbol here and I will show you something in the next slide. So when I did some research about UHF, I discovered that there was a movie called UHF. On the poster of this movie, you can see the lightning symbol. Isn't that interesting? And instead of his eyes, he has those symbols with the circle and the symbolism we just saw on the TV set. And we can also see a torus field forming. The colors are very interesting too, the yellow and red. That are the colors of the phoenix, and I think the phoenix is related to the apocalypse event. Very interesting imagery. So here you can see that it is always about the magnetic field of the earth. It's all about electromagnetism. Here you can see the lightning symbol, the magnet, and here we have the iron. This is why they showed the symbol of this lady ironing. And here we have the answer for the iron. They are used in electromagnets. An electromagnet is a type of magnet in which the magnetic field is produced by an electric current. Electromagnets usually consist of wire wound into a coil. So iron is the material for the magnetic core. The wire turns are often wound around a magnetic core made from a ferromagnetic material such as iron. The magnetic core concentrates the magnetic flux and makes a more powerful magnet. An electromagnet requires a continuous supply of current to maintain the magnetic field. So this explains the thunder in the ionosphere of the Earth. So I let you read the description. So it's crazy how much information they show us in videos and movies. So that was all for today. Thank you very much for watching and till next time. Bye bye.